Post Planner just added a couple of features that will automate content curation. Obviously, content curation can't be done by machines, human beings, you have to actually consider your audience, understand your audience, understand their emotions, what motivates them, and then find content based on that. That's really the, the foundation. Okay. Now that said, once you find really great sources where you're pulling content from, you can use Post Planner to automatically feed them into the dashboard and then select what you want to post. Okay. Uh, the other thing you could do with Post Planner is that you can find out what's trending based on your specific topic area and pull content from those trending ideas. All right. So let me show you how this works. On the right hand side, it says get fresh content. Okay, so I'm just going to click on this, right? And I've already added a couple of sources. Okay, I can just add a source by typing in a URL or an RSS feed or a Twitter handle. Okay, so let me show you how this works. If I click on, let's say, um, Beth Cantor. Okay, I'm going to click on her Twitter ID, right? And then it shows me down below her latest tweets. And also the source, so for example, this one is from n10.org, right? Um, so what this means to me is that I trust Beth. She's already vetted the quality of that content. So if I click on this title, I can see a preview of it right here, okay? I can see a preview of the article right here, and I can click on Add to Publisher. When I click on Add to Publisher, it adds it to the very top of Post Planner, okay? puts the link in there, the title, which I can edit, and I can also select from one of the images on that page. Now, in this case, there's only one image. I can also publish this article as a photo instead of a link, like you, know, you would publish a link on Facebook. Check off this button. It automatically publishes it as a photo using the thumbnail that I've selected. This is a huge image. It will post that as a huge image on Facebook. It's not just going to post a thumbnail. Okay, um, So it's changed it to publish as a photo. And then I can simply go in and edit um, the description right here. And then I'm good to go. The other thing, let me just refresh this. I'm going to show you the other thing that you can use is something called trending content, which is new. Post Planner has partnered with another company to pull in this feature. Right, so let me show you how this works. If I scroll down a little bit, I look at posts. So these are posts that are going to be published on my pages over the next couple of days. And I look at feeds. I can look at feeds too. I want to click on content. Okay. When I click on that, there's also a feature called trending content. Okay. If I click on trending content, you'll notice this service uh, from uh, XYDO is actually pulling in this trending content. And the way, the way that they calculate this is, you know, what content is being shared the most on social media, essentially. It's a proprietary algorithm. But um, basically, it's, it's like this is the content that's doing really well on various different social media sites. Okay? I have the trending content right here. And the free version is going to show me just the top five articles. And I can narrow the content over here, the trending t content, obviously by topic. If I'm a diabetes-related organization, I'm not going to care about accounting, obviously. right? So I click on uh, Select Topic, and I go down, and I click on Diabetes. What you will see now is the trending content around diabetes that's being shared on the web. Let's see. I'll look at Diabetes Health, High Blood Sugar Associated with, with Brain Shrinkage. I can click on the link to open it up in a new tab. I can look at the preview right here. I can click on Add to Publisher. And again, when I click on Add to Publisher, it puts it right here in the Publisher tool. Pulls in an image. I get to choose what image I want to have in here. And I can obviously post this as a photo. Okay. So those are the content curation features in Post Planner. I think these two items, you know, selecting your own content that you curate based on what you've selected, and also looking at what's trending, what other stuff is trending based on all these other different topic areas. And that, again, is provided by a, th a third party um, tool to, to basically determine what's being shared the most. Okay, so that is it. Talk to you soon. Bye.